Nga mehi nui ki a koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Nō ingarangi me koti rana o ki tipuna, a i tipu au i raro i te raukura o te ati awa i pito auni. Ko Holly Walker tō kuingoa. Uh, he whakatau ki mō tēnei kōrero, waiho i te toi poto, kawa i te toi roa. Let us keep close together, not far apart. Even before COVID, Aotearoa's digital divide was a yawning chasm. In the 2018 census, only 86% of New Zealand households had access to the internet, which leaves 211,000 households with no internet access, which, to put it in context, is just slightly less than the, all the households in the entire Canterbury region. This was obviously already unacceptable in the 21st century when the internet plays such an important role in our work, leisure and social lives, but in the pandemic context it has become even more unacceptable. More households have access to a mobile phone, but it doesn't follow that they can afford data. Participants in Out of the Maze, a 2018 study of barriers to digital access, described sitting at a payphone, the bus stop, the car, or spending hours at McDonald's to access free Wi-Fi. A youth worker in the same study said, it's all very well having a phone, but I know our youth, none of them pay for data. Those least likely to have an internet connection, according to 2017 research by economic think tank MORTU, were social housing tenants and disabled people who are also more likely to, feel, to experience feelings of social exclusion, isolation and loneliness. Earlier this year, the Helen Clark Foundation and WSP New Zealand published uh, this report about the risks of loneliness following COVID-19 and how public policy can help. I wrote the report and I want to share a few of the key findings and recommendations with you. At its heart, loneliness is simply an unmet need for human connection and it really, really matters. So while some occasional loneliness is a normal part of the human condition, when it's experienced for prolonged periods, loneliness can disrupt sleep and hormones, it can increase the risk of developing heart disease, high blood pressure and high cholesterol, and it contributes to the development of depression, anxiety and other mood disorders. It can even shorten life expectancy. And this makes loneliness a major public health and wellbeing challenge. And like so many well-being challenges, loneliness discriminates. In Aotearoa, those most likely to report feeling lonely most or all of the time include people in low-income households, people who are unemployed, sole parents, young people and Māori, all groups whose well-being the government is trying to improve and all groups who are more likely to face barriers to digital access. Early indications are that COVID-19 has made the problem of loneliness worse especially for those who were already at increased risk. During the first lockdown, up to a third of young people and people on low incomes reported feeling lonely most or all of the time. And lack of digital access was an important factor in this because for many people, the internet provided the only means of connecting socially outside their household. Our report recommended six planks of an effective policy response. Make sure people have enough money, help communities do their magic, create friendly streets and neighbourhoods, prioritise those already lonely, uh, invest in frontline mental health and most relevant to today's kōrero, close the digital divide. It's time we started thinking of an affordable and accessible internet connection as a baseline for social inclusion, even a human right, and make policy accordingly. Our report recommends that the government should make an internet connection a standard provision in all social housing tenancies. A basic package could be wholly funded or subsidised in the same way that the winter energy payment acknowledges that access to adequate heating is essential. We also recommend that government funded services and supports for disabled people be required to include arranging suitable internet access. Then, the government should adapt, adopt the five-point plan for digital inclusion developed by Internet NZ and a coalition of NGOs and released in May. And these five points are affordable connectivity, getting devices to people who can't afford them, wraparound support for the newly connected, digital skills for displaced workers and small businesses, and long-term internet resilience. Loneliness is an unmet need for human connection, and the internet is nothing if not a powerful tool for connection. 
it should be one that is available to all. Kia ora.